good morning good morning good morning how are you doing yeah my name is jacob and it's morning here in east africa i'm coming live from uganda and here there is something that i wanted to show you uh, there is a very big nest over just a small bird there is a just the bird is so small but the way it builds a big nest is over there on a tree. That is an av avocado tree, but with a very big nest. I don't know whether you can see it there, over there. Very huge, you know, very huge, almost the same size with that water tank. See, that is a water tank, but then. <laughs> Here, all that huge thing there is just a, a nest for the bird. Yeah, and um, I was there when, uh, yeah, so I was there when those two birds were, uh, they were building that nest, you know. It's a very huge nest, a very massive nest, yeah very massive but it was just built by only two birds as you see yeah so guys um i'm at workplace still very soon heading home on my motorbike yeah and i really appreciate for those of you who are able to make it you know coming up together teaming together and we made it to get the bike uh the bike may the good lord bless you abundantly and thank you so much yeah because you have been there for me um up to this moment and we were even able to get the watch hours with you together on this channel and the channel has been monetized so if you haven't subscribed up to this time and you are watching the video kindly subscribe to the channel and as you are watching don't forget to watch the ads <laughs> remember we are monetized yeah thank you so much let me see you in another one yeah, some people are just massless you know just a cow was feeding from there but just because it is not from this side and it is from a neighbor the other side the way it has been chased from here <laughs> with the sticks you know yet yet eating from the dump but there are some people even uh, <laughs> they feel proud of their dumps you know they don't want even like a neighbor's cow to feed there they want their own cows you know to feed so they have chased it <laughs> at a, a breakneck speed, you know. It has been chased on a, at a breakneck speed. From that side up to the other side. So guys, that's that. And um, I will show you how that project was, you know, uh, running. But then I will revive it. Yeah. I'll, I'll revive the the project you know i love to revive it that is the project of uh, the the ducks because i love them i love those ducks <laughs> i love rearing ducks i love rearing chicken and then uh, goats sheep and cows or cattle yeah basically the zebu and boran yeah most especially the boran those ones with large muscles in front yeah i like them i will be i'll be rearing them with the time to come yeah it is just god and time i i, I love that that phrase you know from purpose driven <laughs> God and time uh, from Papa's Driven and then Tamika Douglas. Yeah, bless up. And also, I would like to shout out um, 
my channel members uh, miss v underscore nyc and then um mom kevinish gould kindly uh, follow them if you haven't subscribed to their channels kindly check them out these are amazing people yeah and don't forget to like the video if you haven't yeah kindly hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe as we enjoy the video yeah blessings to everyone and to you know every friend who has been on this journey supporting this channel i really appreciate you so much yeah so as i uh, was discussing that uh, chicken they have been dying here and some people throw them away but some people eat them so in your view uh if you have if you were rearing chicken and then maybe they start dying will you like eat them not 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 necessarily the one that have already died but the ones that are sick can you slaughter them and then you eat them or you can also throw them away yeah so most people here like the slaughter those ones that are, are still what are still okay they are sick but they are, they are, when they have not yet died they, they slaughter them and then they eat them what is your view about that one you can drop it in the comment section whether you can consume it or you would also rather throw it away yeah so most people here they do what they consume them the same also with the with the pigs yeah because the pigs also have been lately you know very sick and their colors have, be, have been changing you find the pig when the ears are turning to purple color <laughs> so funny yeah but anyway with the pigs there is a lot of input there than chicken because the chicken here they just roam around yeah they just roam around but with the pigs they are at zero grazing so there is a lot of what input in them they are at zero grazing so that one i would say it's a big loss yeah with the pigs there i think i showed you yeah i showed you somewhere there that's where they are reared you know yeah even here we had some uh kind of pig styes by then yeah but the project ended yeah the project ended due to the same thing the diseases yeah, it was due to the same thing the diseases but anyway all in all you are supposed to pass via and then make sure that you do what you keep on pushing yeah no stretching is permanent indeed no stretching is permanent that's why sometimes um i prefer rearing uh, these animals in the village you know i prefer rearing these animals in the village and that's why when i get land with the time to come when i purchase my land in the village that's when i will be into these projects i want to deal with the projects of uh, pig farming uh, chicken rearing duck farming you know all of them i will do that uh, but then also crop cultivation yeah, just like you could see i will be, I will be you know cultivating a lot of crops just like you see here that's when i god blesses me with the land in the village because here the problem that we have here there there are a lot of diseases because we are near the dump we are near we have two dumps there is one dump this side and then another one there so these dumps here when people have their farms somewhere and then they their chicken or their ducks get sick they come and throw them here and 
yours when yours goes and then uh, starts feeding around it gets into contact with this dead chicken so as you could see we have a dump over there then another one is the other side so these things hinder the rearing of uh, animals here because that's how animals get diseases you know yeah so this is my friend azuka is the one who stays here yeah in this house and trying to prepare something to eat trying to prepare lunch so that's basically the main reason why rearing animals or birds is so difficult here yeah because even in most cases since we do it on um, free range whereby we leave them to move around yeah that's how they get diseases and it is it is not easy to keep them like indoor that is uh, so if you are still watching up to this moment and if, yeah you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to the channel uh, like the video share tell a friend to tell a friend to come and join this channel and let's support each other on this journey let us grow together yeah so i'm here live from uganda east africa and the time now is uh, approaching to 11 a.m yeah it is approaching 11 a.m so thank you very much for supporting this channel and please kindly subscribe if you haven't that is the truck Uh, sand mining going on here and I think these guys they are trying to you know make sure that they make way for the water to pass yeah so basically those people of the church there over there making this to to make sure that the water moves very well they are draining the channel making a proper drainage as you could see but as well as this uh, this sand also is used though it is not a good sand that you could talk of because it has a lot of particles it has got the the, these papers and other things inside yeah so at this moment i think i'll have to go away from here because there is a, a what a truck that has come to empty the latrines and it is going to you know produce that awful smell yeah but mm. So this one here is a sort of like a, a cage that I normally use when when the chicken or the hen hashes. I normally put them in this cage. I put it like on the ground here and then I put uh, that cage there and they stay inside. Most especially for the young ones not to be caught by the, the eagles because here we have the problem of the eagles yeah the eagles normally hunt these young ones so i normally put the young ones under the, the cage so that they are not hunted by the eagles when they are still young when then when they grow up that's when i have to release them and then they move and they go and feed around yeah, in most cases they go and feed that side <laughs> we are down there so projects of bricks also they are going on here as you could see and animals just feed so, yeah, the place now is, is a bit clean 
look at this one here in the bathroom the, the what the kid the small goat is in the bathroom no not even if it was a big one and a small one yeah so this is the bathroom that they use here um people who are staying those rooms that one yeah they use that right now we have an outbreak we have an outbreak of uh, diseases most especially the the pigs and and the hens oh you can say the the what the chicken <laughs> i normally have problems with some english words so the poultry most especially the hens as i could i could say because when i talk of poultry i could mean ducks and what and uh, the hens or the roosters yeah because we normally consider hens to be the female and then the roosters to be the male yeah so right now the the chicken have or the hens have uh, diseases outbreak and then the pigs too here we had a lot of pig, pigs you know the people were rearing a lot of pigs and the moment you could reach here they could make noise but right now there are few as you could see these are young ones there are few. most of them have been slaughtered because of the sickness going on you know mm. the place is near the the swamp you see that swamp there of lake victoria yeah so the government is trying like to reclaim from that side up to up this side yeah and that's why i was like okay let me relax a bit mm, maybe one time I could just purchase my own land somewhere when time comes and then I forget about this piece yeah I'll just have to forget about that piece and right now also I would like to go and show you some of the projects that I used to do for this side and before that you can see we have our sugar cane there and it's growing very well because of the rain right now it is a rainy season and everything is doing well you know yeah and what i would like now to i think put emphasis is to buy uh, a good memory card now yeah because this camera is demanding me a good memory card uh, it, it 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 says that i need a, a memory card that can perform well is it of v v v30 yeah v30 that is the one that can perform well so that's why whenever i'm recording it keeps on stopping 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 so i need like to get a good memory card in order to make sure that it can perform well Yes, so if you could remember, I had one uh, room here for for the what? For the ducks. Yeah, and I'm going to show you that part where the ducks were eating from here. And if you can notice the other room, then this side there was a small room for the ducks where they used to sleep. This one was not yet complete, and they could use the other one and one which was here. And they could eat from here yeah you will notice it yeah you will notice it and <laughs> for this i think i'm doing it for purpose because purpose asked me a question about where did you get that video of the ducks and then she laughed you know so i'm going to be showing her 
yeah that video and before me even showing her that part where the ducks were feeding from here i just wanted her to notice that house as it is and then this side also there was uh, a temporal one with those very items uh, the tarpaulins that are down there we use them then this plant also was here but this one was cut this one used to be a big plant you know it used to be a big plant but it was cut this one here it used to be a very huge 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 plant but it was cut and nevertheless well, I just wanted to like look out for another one uh -huh. so we have our chicken which is our hen which is uh, incubating and those are the eggs it is incubating I'm no longer doing you know those so I will just leave it like that yeah but with the time I'll I'll make sure that I I, I repair there and also here because now here it is open animals like uh, cows can just easily pass and eat all these things yeah because my guy here I'm the one who normally sometimes like support him with nails and wood to make sure that he fences this area yeah for the time being yeah, this area um, uh, current, uh, I, I have uh, iron sheets and uh, um, I have also like doors probably I would have set up something here but at, the, at this moment I cannot because of you know how the government is trying to <laughs> you know uh, reclaim this land from the other side up to this side saying that is supposed to belong to Nema so we are trying to relax a bit and make sure that we first leave everything so that we see what what, what will take place yeah because as you see this place is near it is near. yeah here we are in the garden this is action garden and look the maize is doing well yeah soon maybe like in a period of uh probably maybe two months it will be ready yeah in a period of two months it will be ready and we shall be able to harvest yeah and as you can see also um the cassava is also doing well yeah, that is my house I, <laughs> not really my house but the house of my friend whom I you know helped to stay around as he maintains this place yeah and the other side is the dump as you could see yeah there is something going on there oh wow we have a problem here we have a problem because now you can see there 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 um, we have got uh, uh, a, a break the animals are going now to be passing there and they will be destroying their crops so we need we really need to work on it so that the animals cannot disturb you know we really need to work on it we really need to work on it yeah but i know very well that we shall when i get some little money maybe probably at the end of the month i want to work upon it yeah the cows as you can see the cows over there <laughs> they are eating from the dump so they don't have grass to graze on and that's how things move here yeah, they eat from the dump. Uh, yes, I, as I've been always 
showing you many animals here in this place they don't have where to graze from and it's gonna be a problem that this fence is already destroyed <laughs>